Dave Garda here at the Connecticut Maritime Association Shipping Conference. We're here in the Equiclor booth for another Ballast Water Management Report. And with me here is Steve Candido, who's CEO of Equiclor. Good morning, Dave. And Patrick Keffler, who's Regional Manager Americas for Intertanko. Steve, a lot going on at discussions about ballast water. Give us an overview of what's been discussed at the panels here. Yeah, so we were at the uh, Intertanko North American panel yesterday, and it was a, a very good session as usual. And um, there was quite a bit of focus on ballast water, even though the, the meeting itself was much broader, but we had Admiral Nadeau speaking about um, his experience with the ballast water regulations. Um, and then we had also two presentations, one on the new vital legislation, which also, of course, impacts ballast water. And then we had a specific presentation on ballast water treatment systems and some of the challenges that owners are still going through. So it was a very, very good panel. Patrick, what are some of the themes you're picking up here as regional manager of the Americas for Intertanko? Well, one of the one of the main themes definitely is with uh, ballast water uh, systems and and how the Coast Guard uh, is doing their various enforcement efforts. Um, it, some of the main issues that keep coming up, especially when we have the Coast Guard in the room with us, are uh, the different uh, captain of the port zones and and how uh, and how enforcement happens as a ship goes from one zone to another. So, what role does Intertanko play when dealing with the Coast Guard on these matters? Well, as uh, the regional, America, uh, regional manager of the Americas, uh, one of my jobs is to be the liaison uh, with the Coast Guard for our members. Uh, and so my main role is to make sure that our voices are heard, uh, the members uh, of Intertanko's voices are heard with the Coast Guard, and that uh, their issues are, are brought to bear. And is the Coast Guard being responsive? Oh, absolutely. The, the Coast Guard uh, and Intertank have also always had a, a very strong relationship with one another. Um, we've had uh, we've had meetings uh, regularly with the Coast Guard, and so uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, those those issues will continue to be heard. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you joining us, gentlemen. This is another Equiclor Ballast Water Management Report from Connecticut Maritime Association. I'm Dave Gardy. Thanks for joining us on Maritime TV. Thank you.